it is time to continue Janked Up Mario Party. It's been a little bit of time since I last played it. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm, I feel like I'm near the end here. Um, anyway. There's still quite a bit to do, who am I kidding? I gotta do the second half of the lava gap. Alright, but to begin with, maybe I should start making things easier to traverse, I don't know. Like, do some of Star Road. I'll think about it. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Okay. Because I could save myself the journey every time. I don't know if I want to do that, uh, that thing. It seemed pretty tedious. No. I am I am trying to make an effort to finish this. <laughs> I'm approaching that point where uh every stage is just going to be suffering. Also, I'm approaching the point where like I think I didn't get that far last time when I tried to play this all these years ago. You know what, it's blessing in disguise, because enough time has passed that I've forgotten most of it, and I get to finish it. <laughs> With, uh, more of the regulars getting to see it, whereas in before it was, I guess, at the start of when I started streaming, so... Unless you go out of your way to watch VODs, <laughs> not gonna know that I played this. Okay! Oh, you know what I forgot? Duh. I, for I forgot my crutch. Can't go out without the crutch. Sorry, right, we have one closer. I mean, okay. Is it really that much harder for me to go through Star Road? Let's see. I've been ignoring this area. Baseball Mountain, alright. Fuck. <laughs> so much for the power-ups. Oh no, not enough. <laughs> oh, this has a quick retry, nice. I like this. I feel like every stage should be this. I'm 
It just makes it easier. Don't get dipped to the map and you just try again. That's great. Whoops. Okay. Got it this time. Oh, you dick. <laughs> I don't like Baseball Mountain. Good. I only make that mistake once. What is this? Oh, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my god. What do you mean, double piranha plant? I got this, I got this. Tried my hardest. Oh, that was ballsy. Okay, checkpoint. Awesome. Come on. I don't think I can reach it. Oh, I've got it. Got it. Don't got it. Oh, what is this garbage? Oh, there's another one. Go. Okay, this is a safety spot. I can... <sighs> nah. Ugh, fucked up. At least there's a checkpoint. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Okay. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let him go. I see. Being big is, is a liability here. 
It doesn't let you avoid them accurately. Oh god, what have I done? Alright, I needed to get rid of it. <laughs> Clearly. This isn't so bad. I mean, if this is halfway... Oh boy. Hey Laura, is this on Switch? No, this is uh, what you call a ROM hack. And it's being played on a Super Nintendo. It's just the level designer going out of their way to be annoying. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do with that. Hmm. Did I win? Of course I did. That was... That was a guarantee. There was no way I was losing. It would have been a pretty big throw on my part if I had lost. I actually got a lot of progress done. Pretty much everything I did yesterday was all successful, so that's why I'm avoiding the game today, because typically the way these things go is like, if I have that good luck, I'm gonna suffer for a week at least. <sighs> Do I mind if you hang out and chat for a bit? That's fine. You do you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this involves a little bit of luck, but not that much. Involves a little bit of self-loathing, to be honest. Like, I have to hate myself a little to put myself through this. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's fine. Oh, for Isaac, right, I getcha. That was simple. Now what? Is he gonna turn around? There's no way it's just this. Come on. Okay. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh I don't I don't trust this. Why why are there coins here? Something bad's about to happen. Oh my god. Run. Run. Okay. Dude, this is like Mario Brothers 1 and the damn bridge. It's that cranked up. Ugh. Palms are sweaty. Ah! Damn it. There's a reason you don't play classic Mario side-scrollers, why is that? 
They're usually so much fun. They're nothing like this. This is just, uh... Designed for people that want to inflict suffering upon themselves. For entertainment purposes. I mean, the original Super Mario World? Light-hearted fun. I mean, I grew up on these. Okay. There you go. Here's entertainment. I don't know. There's people that genuinely like when I play this. Probably the same people that enjoyed when I played Splunky. There's also something, I don't know, just satisfying when you get over something that was previously a blockade for you mentally. Oh, this is annoying. Just time it. Just time it. You got it. Damn it. Sorry, that was a rude joke. Oh, you're going to have to let me know when you get to the funny part. See, that's a joke! Just kidding. Ahaha, <laughs> uh. ah, got him! Bow, bow, bow. I'm insisting on taking this with me, because I just imagine if I hang on to it, that... Oh, wow. That last one. Where it's on the single blocks, it'll probably be easier if I just throw a shell at it. That's my rationale. Oh, you can. You can survive this. Okay. I guess if I... <sighs> Damn it. Oh, it really forces you to do that. Wait, are they the same fish? No, they're not. I was like, what if they're the... S <laughs> what if they're the same fish every time? And all I have to do is murder them. They're not. It's straight up like the bridge from... <laughs> from Mario 1. I just need to channel those inner child memories of that stage. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, oh, man. I'm not timing that correctly. There we go. That's the one. Uh, I tried.
Ah, oh, no. Well, I lost it. I mean, I can still do it. It's just I don't have the advantage that I thought I did. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, one, two, three. It's, it's random. I don't think it, it's on a pattern. One, two, three, one, two. No. Dude. Rip shell. So this isn't the original Mario? No. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. You kidding? <laughs> I don't think Miyamoto would be that evil. This would be like the results of the creator of Mario just getting absolutely hammered one night. And just going, you know what? The levels aren't hard enough. <laughs> just gonna make the player hate themselves. You have the same birthday as him. No kidding. Um, hang on. Ugh. Don't take my shell. Oh. Iframes. 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 Iframes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, this... This thing is... Created by a bunch of, uh, different people. Everyone makes a level. It's like, you can see who made the level, right? This, this person made it. They have difficult stages, and then they have ones where they have creative mechanics in it. As well, stuff that wasn't possible in the original game. Which is why I like it. So, it mixes challenge with, uh, stuff that is genuinely interesting. I got- I suppose I should go hunt down where that top one is, so then I have a clear path. Alright, let's go hunt down the stars. I'm gonna start forming Star Road. It also has a lot more levels than the original, so... Alright, I'll tell you what. Since you haven't seen much of this, let me give you one of my favorite levels. Euphoric Mushroom Backyard. I'm not going to say anything about it. The effects of the hallucinogenic mushrooms make you feel really good. You must eat them before they're eaten by enemies. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Little John in the East Side Boys. So, yeah, this is, this is not a challenge. It's just fun and different. Yeah. I mean, compared to what I was doing before, like this is this is fine, right? What if I touch one? Well, I... It's a poison mushroom. Much like the poison mushroom in Lost Levels. Anyway, you got the idea. There's stuff like that, which is just a nice little break from... ...the difficulty. So you, you use them to kill enemies. Oh, that one goes here. Okay. I just want to make it so it's easier to traverse the map with Star Road.
I think there's a star here. Wait, not there. Where am I going? Oh, it's this way. Yep, this way. Alright, there's a star. I am... Ooh, no. No, no, that I know that stage. <laughs> Fuck that stage. <laughs> nope, not doing that. Not doing that today. Alright, well, process of elimination. I mean, I'm gonna do a Star Road stage, just not that one. Wait, how do I get over there? Oh, I'm an idiot. Go back. You can use your emotes here. Yeah, you can use... ...any emote you subscribe to. Which, technically yourself, I guess. Okay, cavern... What is this? Cryophobia cavern. Okay, I'll buy it. Oh no, it's an ice stage. Ooh, I don't like ice stages. I do like the music though. Oh! Oh no. That's the other thing it does, is like custom graphics and colors and music. There's some really cool looking stages in this. Wait, so... Isn't that Donkey Kong music? It is, yes. It has Kirby music in it as well. Often it's remixed. Good ear. Oh god. Don't you dare. I can't fool you with Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay, well, that's the one- that's the only one that I didn't really play, unfortunately. I played Donkey Kong Country at a friend's house and we owned three. I really wanted to play two, but didn't get a chance to. Wow, this is- okay, this is such a dickhead stage. What do you- what do you mean? What do you mean that didn't hit? It's on Switch? Nah, but if I gotta play it, I gotta play- Like a purist, I gotta play it with my childhood Super Nintendo controller. And on this console I have. Okay. Can I bring power-ups in here? That might make my life easier. I mean, I don't know, like... Using a legit Super Nintendo controller just has a, a different feel to it. Putting in a cartridge, it's... There's more to it than just, uh, playing the game. There's also the nostalgia of it. You have the Switch SNES controller, lucky. <laughs> they sold out really quickly. And your OG Super Nintendo, nice. I'll show you what I have. 
Hang on. It's something that upscales classic uh, consoles. So it's this little this little bit of kit. You put in original cartridges and you got something with pristine audio and video. I can do a bunch of stuff as well, like if I really want to. That's not purest. Well, it's not emulation. It's like, it's hardware based. But if I want to be really purest, I can pull out the Super Nintendo and attach a SCART cable to it and do the same thing. It's just, instead of having a box in the middle to do all that, I just do it in this one unit, which is convenience. At the end of the day, I'm still using the same Super Nintendo controller I used when I was a little kid. But I do still have my NES as well, and SNES. They're in the back somewhere, it's just... <laughs> for some... For something that I don't think anyone's gonna notice... It's like, eh. I have to hook up an extra box. And it uses a Japanese power supply to run it, so... Oh wait, I missed, I missed the exit again. Listen, the important thing is, a cartridge is being run, and I'm using a correct controller. And all the fancy stuff it does, you know. Which I don't- I mean, I can turn on scan lines, but- but that's kind of bad for the viewing experience. What's hybrid? Oh, that's like alternating. I mean, it tries to simulate a CRT, but whatever. I don't, I don't know, I don't personally like it. Wait, and then... See, why would anyone do this to their games? Like, that fake filter that smooths out the pixels? Like, why, why would you ever do this to your game? This doesn't look better. X-ray. I could do a challenge where I play everything X-ray. Anyway. Go back to pixels. But that's, I guess, common with a lot of... ...re-releases and collections, is just they'll have that option. I get the, in I get the intent behind it. It's just not done very well. The other thing is, there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with this. Like, with the original Super Nintendo games, you can get these mods that enable high-quality audio. And by that I mean it's not MIDI, it's like a band playing music and stuff, it's pretty good. Like, there's a version of A Link to the Past that has a cutscene. There we go. Just think it's about having these games accessible. Yeah! I mean, I have, I have a legit way of playing most of the old games. There's just obviously a gap somewhere. Like, the GameCube era isn't really represented that much, or the Wii era for that matter. Shit. But yeah, I mean, I, I have all the stuff I need to play any sort of old console I want. 
I guess I just haven't done much of it. Can you tell me a sad story? Go for it. I shared- I shared one of mine last night. Let's hear one of yours. Oh, what- what fresh hell is this? I don't like the stage. <laughs> I mean, the, conceptually, it's cool. The way they're using... The layers, I guess. It's just... Obviously, it's been designed to fuck the player over. <laughs> Damn it. Do, do, I re do I really have to... I'm gonna have to go get... You had all your Wii and favorite games, including Paper Mario in a box when you moved house, and it went to Vinny's? Oh, no. Yeah, when I moved out, I packed up the Super Nintendo and everything. I did leave the Wii, Wii with my younger brothers, but they haven't allowed it to go. And the DS, because, you know, they were kids at the time. But I, I definitely kept the stuff that defined my childhood, more or less. I did end up reacquiring um, some of the DS stuff and the Wii things, but... That is pretty genuinely upsetting. <laughs> so how did it... I mean, human error, I would imagine, was the way that it ended up there. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I get it. It's it's one of those things that you'll randomly think about and get sad over. Like, I get it. I basically have everything that was part of my childhood, including the Game Boy stuff. But the Game Boy is extra special, because, uh... My brother... ...ended up creating a Game Boy mod for me, so... Got one, gave it a custom shell, made it, like, branded around my stream, and... Yeah, it was pretty nice. so annoying. The one that I shared last night was like, uh, a school had computers, these black and white, uh, Macintosh computers, and they were going to get rid of them to get new ones. And so my dad and a bunch of other parents asked this principal, um, if they could have them. So she says no. And so... The next week, my dad notices that, um... The dumpster has these computers in there. So he goes to have a look. See if maybe he can get- grab one. So not only did she throw them out, but she smashed the screens to make sure no one would take one. And uh, I- I think about that. Just every now and then, it makes me so sad. Because I really wanted a computer at the time. This was- this was a lady that was a principal that, like... I don't know, she was nice, but I get the feeling whenever kids did things that were annoying, it's kind of like, hmm, you really don't like children. You like the idea of them, but when they behave in a manner that you deem annoying, like, wow.
Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay, I made it. And, you know, get, especially given the job I do these days, which involves computers, right? Like, it came from. Ah, oh, what? No, had to, oh. it came from having a computer. You know, that sparked the interest. It would have happened sooner had she not. <sighs> That's fine. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Not two nights in a row. Oh, no, this is safe. Alright, this is fine. I think. But yeah, I mean... This is- what I have is, I guess... A very nerdy retro gaming paradise here. I just. I should put more use into it in terms of stream. Maybe when I do stuff on YouTube, I'll consider it more. But like, I have the NES, the SNES, the Sega Master System, the Mega Drive, the N64, the PS1. PS3, PS4, um, Game Boy, Color, GameCube. Technically with the GameCube can play the Game Boy Advance stuff. The Wii U, which plays the Wii U and the Wii. So, I'm pretty covered. The only era I don't have is PS2, but I didn't really play much PS2. That was at the time where I got my first real computer and did PC gaming. There has to be a better way for me to get a cape. I don't have to walk all this way, do I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, better topic. Um... Yeah, uh, one thing I got linked a bunch of times today. Alright, wait, what is going on? Why is my phone going nuts? Okay, sorry. It's YouTube. Um, well, yeah, KFC has this thing that I, has been linked to me multiple times, because for those that know me, like, they know that I, I quite enjoy chicken, and so anything chicken-related must... Must be channeled in my direction, you know? What was it? It's called the slab, and it's... <laughs> Imagine a six-pack of dinner rolls. They just run a blade through the middle of it. And then they fill it with popcorn chicken, cheese, and barbecue sauce. And that's what it is. It just... <laughs> it's... I don't know why, but it just made me laugh. It's kind of like, dude, really? I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm tempted, but I, I guess I would really have to not have anything else planned, you know? Because that's gonna send me into a, a coma if I eat that. I haven't had KFC in a long time. Am I, am I just not going to where I need to be? Hang on. This one goes here. Okay, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. There we go. Jeez. You've seen it, but the important question is, have you tried it? I wonder how expensive it would be to get a copy of... Of, uh... Donkey Kong Country 2. <laughs> you haven't and won't be. Fair. Uh, with Isaac, probably won't be playing it. I don't 
play it every day. Just... I was in the mood for this today. I haven't started anything that requires progress, and I feel like I need to finish this before I do. Yeah, I mean, I try to, I try to strike a balance. I don't, I don't want to get to a point where I get considered like I'm only streaming one game. So is there just no checkpoint in this stage? Like, why? Oh, I don't like this. It's okay, you're not offended by that statement. Why would you be? <laughs> what did I say? If there was any, like, bad connotation around only streaming one game, that's not what I meant. It's just... For what I want is, a, a, you know, I play different games. Variety content. Really? That should not be allowed. To be honest, streaming one game is probably better in the long run in terms of growing a community, because... Those people rely on you to play that one game. It has its upsides and downsides, because if the game does eventually taper off, then you kind of have to scramble. But variety content has its own set of problems. It's kind of like, it's a big ask to get someone to watch everything you do. I'm, I'm pretty lucky. I got a set of people that watch me regardless of what I do. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're good. You're just jesting? That's fine. I mean, two things. One, I over-explain myself sometimes too much. And two, I mean, text chat, it's kind of hard to tell. Really? This is going to be a process. The cape definitely helps. I know it takes a while to get, but it, it definitely helps. Is there a, is there a stage? No, the, that one doesn't have... I'm gonna see if I can find a nearby stage that maybe I can take a cape from. Um, my phone is going- why is my phone going nuts? Ah, okay, that would explain it. I put a short up, like, several hours ago and people are replying to it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Okay, a successful short is successful. Yeah, the stage is pretty evil. Because you, you can't just run through it. But obviously, you have to... ...know exactly what to do, and you have to start and stop. I'm curiosity, I think I know who makes the stage, but I'm gonna check. There's certain level creators where, the moment I see their name pop up, I know it's gonna be horrible. I'll- I'll inspect and see. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'll tell you what it is, like... I shared this as a short, but I blew people's minds. Last time I- I did it, so... 
You know what? It's related to Super Mario World, so I'll tell you what. I'll show you, I'll show you something that you might not have known about Super Mario World. Where is it? Okay. Get ready. Because this destroyed my childhood a little. There's multiple things you can do that to, but this is this is the funny one. Mario's ass can destroy chainsaws. Can destroy blades. Anyway. There's a bunch of other things you can do with that sort of thing, but... So I made a, I made a short and put it on YouTube and shared it and it's getting responses, so I should probably respond. This is good! I can make another two showing the other two ways you can do it. Mwahahaha, <laughs> recycling content. Honestly, that's what streamers do. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Uh-oh. 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 Stop. <laughs> the ice, it's the ice physics. I need to take it out. Okay, that works. I made my own life harder. You sleep? Alright, good night, Laura. Rest well. Thanks for the company, all good. Tis what I'm here for. People hate water stages, I hate ice stages. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back. <laughs> is it? Yes, it is. Okay, but I, I got the right idea. Oh, okay. Ugh, <laughs> <sighs> this is so stressful. Don't let the chill music fool you, this is- ah! <laughs> This is evil incarnate. Oh. Okay, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Now the fun process of going to get another cape. But, I mean... You know what? They, they have a better idea. I do want to do this stage, but... Maybe if I find the stage to the left, then I have an easier path. Let me see. gonna get a uh, cape and stuff. Uh, 
Oh, it's down here. Yeah, this doesn't help me at all. Okay, I guess I got no way then. I thought maybe that would link to it, but it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna have to roll with it, I guess. I'll figure out a more efficient way to get the cape, I suppose. Okay. Grant me strength. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't care how much of a crutch this is. <laughs> that should hopefully hit it. Come on. There we go. You know things are getting serious when my commentary just turns into grunting. Great. Alright. Well, most likely dead, but let's try anyway. Hey, Gammy, what's up? How's it going? Game, please. I hate how deceivingly calm the stage is. The music you would think, oh, what a nice little experience this stage is going to be. It has nice music. It has a vibe to it. No, this is... Oh my god. Okay. Ugh. Alright, this next part sucks. Don't you dare! Ugh. <laughs> it's so annoying. Alright, I'm going to go get the cape again. I know, it's a bit of a crutch, but whatever. Yeah, I'm up to the point in this where every stage is just going to be this. I'm just seeing if there's any alternative to getting a cape. There might be. No? I just don't want to have to walk all the way constantly. It's just... What about here? Rope is Nightmare? No, it wouldn't... Yeah, no, it's not gonna be in here either. Alright, I'm just gonna have to walk back. It's not that far away, but it's just... It breaks up a little.
I'm nearly at the end of this. I'm committing to getting this done. This is all in the interest of just making the map easier, and I guess I have to do these stages anyway. How have I already used- I just noticed, how have I already used 31 lives? <laughs> really? That's how many times I've died? Wait, I want to I want to stress test something. I wonder. Not that I think it's going to help, but just genuine curiosity here. Do they allow Yoshi in that stage? I get the feeling he's going to be a hindrance more than a help, but let's just Humor me for a minute. Yeah, he's not allowed in. Okay. Cause he'd be able to eat the flames, that's why that's what I was thinking. Really? Alright, whatever. Oh my god. Alright. Well, there goes that attempt. I can still win, it's just gonna be harder. Oh my god. <laughs> it does make me laugh. Oh boy. Yeah, that part is is a little uh a little bit unfair. I don't think Fireflower would help here either. It's gotta be Cape. Ah, <sighs> Well, hope everyone's, uh, Monday slash Tuesday is going alright. Kicking off a busy week, and this is how I choose to chill, just... ...progressing in probably one of the most tedious stages there are. Uh I have finished a stage today, technically, so it's... Oh wait, I'm going wrong. The bare minimum in terms of progress has been achieved. Okay. Deep breath.
What do you mean? <laughs> Landed on him. <laughs> ah! All right. As long as I keep this cape. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, that was greedy. <laughs> no! <laughs> the eyes. Oh, the eyes! I'm losing my mind. That, that one is so tricky, but I know the positioning of it now. Dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all this is is just a pattern that you need to recognize and react to. Okay. Back up to here again. Oh, you suck. Okay, now I have to make this... Okay. Okay. Oh, that... That... I'm sorry, that jump is... Wow. <laughs> it's the ice that's ruining me. I, I just can't calculate the trajectory I need. But that was a good attempt. I got as far as I did. I think all it's going to take is just getting up to that point with a cape, and then it's done. Hopefully there'll be a checkpoint immediately after. Why do I keep going up the pipe? I don't need to go into the pipe. You had a productive day, did some of your assignment and some cleaning. Nice. Did you reward yourself with anything for that productiveness? Oh, you can just... Oh, no, you... you okay, you don't want to do that. Okay, waiting is better. Noted. I mean, okay, it does let me get hit earlier, but who cares? You ate a whole pizza, damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do something similar. If I've had a really productive end of the week, I will reward myself for something like that. But I've been pretty productive today as well. I've been producing a lot of, uh, shorts for YouTube, and... That's, like, after work. Where I've do been doing a bunch of stuff as well, so... You know what, let me try it without going back. Like, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> maybe it's not so bad. Oh, 
I just don't want this to be, like, something that drags because I have to go get the cape, but, like, if it's honestly not that bad without the cape, then... Let's just go without the cape. The, the problem I'm having is this part here. I get the feeling I'm, I'm trying to brute force it, and I should be watching for the opening. And that's the trick to this stage, is just... You wait for the correct opening every time. It's got nothing to do with trying to kill things, it's all just waiting for... Sticking to the correct spot, alright? I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. I'm gonna check who made this stage after after I die. Okay, so I can get through that without taking damage. It's just no. Nah. Give me a sec. Who made this stage? <laughs> okay. I'm at the point where I can almost tell. do my best here. We're gonna get at, at least a checkpoint. Alright. I'm doing my best. Oh, come on. Alright, I mean, as long as I don't lose the second one. <sighs> Stupid ice, I, c I couldn't control the trajectory. This is the worst thing about this. <laughs> It involves precision positioning, and then the ice is just constantly... Ugh. I know that's the intent. I just, I, I have to complain about it. At least I got this part better.
I can't believe that doesn't affect that. What do you mean? This map looks very creepy bastard like except for what? Except for the uh oh god. Oh I made it! Except for the music. The music's from Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah, it's meant to instill ice, I guess. Oh my god. Alright, I haven't been this far. Oh dude, what is this? I can't tell if it's better to- no, it, it would be better to get it on the way up and not the way down. I think. I can't tell- I can't tell which- <laughs> I can't tell. That's a very tough choice. I, I just have to try, I guess. Ugh, anyway. How's it going, person who wants to be a cow? <laughs> I'm sure that there's a short informer I can use, but that's what I'm going with. Sorry, just gotta check my phone real quick. Okay, yeah, that's why it's going nuts. <laughs> One of my shorts did alright, so that's good to hear. I put it on silent, don't worry, you won't hear me talk about it. Okay. Doing good, gonna get more rest. Your dog has been waking up at 6 a.m. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Involuntary waking up. Because then you feel just tired the rest of the day. Sometimes I get that. I get neighbors doing weird shit. Deciding to do it very early on or super late, I guess, depending on your thing. Oh my god, this ice is doing my head in. <laughs> I try to account for it, I really do. This is deceivingly simple and frustrating. Say, don't you dare. Okay, there we go. Sorted. You have a medium dog and a small one. The small one is used to sleeping with you, but the big one is normally with your parents. Right, gotcha. What? <sighs> I, I can't remember if it did that last time. Okay. This is 100% just pattern recognition. <laughs> and I recognize where I need to stand, this is, the problem is the ice. Uh, like, that's, that's the thing. Oh, they aren't in town, I gotcha. Okay, so that's why that dog is with you now. Yeah, that must be uncomfortable. Ugh. 
Ugh, I wish there was a better way to do this, but there isn't. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was close. No, I missed the window. It's going to come back to life. Maybe patience is required? I don't know. We shall see. So far, so good. I think for this one, I, I just wait here. Yep. That's the ticket. And then wait here. Yep, yeah, alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, this is great. Keep it up. I haven't been this- ah! I haven't been this far with both capes in hand. Oh my god, this is this is going so well. I don't want this. <laughs> Get it off. No! Oh, oh no. 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 Uh, I, I, I guess I have a cape. Please tell me I have a cape. Okay. I mean, look, this is, well, it's not a cape. Let's try and use this. Because this isn't half bad either. What? Alright, well, back to cape. I deserve that. I went too quick. <laughs> oh, this stage is going to take me an hour, isn't it? Right. 
at least the music is calming. Like, I don't... While it's frustrating, I, I guess at least the soundtrack is nice. <laughs> it's not all bad. <laughs> oh no. The ice. Yeah. The Donkey Kong music is so good. I know. It's up there in terms of my favorite series uh, soundtrack. Mega Man is, is number one for me. The, the NES series of Mega Man games. But I mean, I would say Donkey Kong would be a close second. Like, Aquatic Ambience is one of the best, uh, game tracks there are in terms of relaxing. You really like the Risk of Rain soundtrack. It sets the feel of the game so well. It does. Yeah, modern games Risk of Rain definitely has a very good soundtrack. So good that I, I ordered the vinyls so I could listen to it on its own as an album. Yes! Oh, yes! Ice! Great. <laughs> the frustration is starting to mount when the warrior voice comes out. Oh wait, what am I doing? Here, here, here. And then... Okay. Oh god. This doesn't appear to be consistent. It's a really good soundtrack. Another good one is uh, Celeste. Quite enjoy that one. Really? Alright, well... Uh, Katana Zero is another favorite. That has a really good soundtrack, Katana Zero. I just looked at, like, my shelf <laughs> and what was on there. Those are the ones that I could spot out. It's nice seeing the artwork and all that as well, that's the other reason I get them, not just the audio aspect. Shovel Knight has good vibes as well, like, it's pretty retro sounding, so I, I quite enjoy. Damn it. I'm not progressing. <laughs> you really rock with Hotline Miami. Oh man, I haven't. I don't play much of that game. I do remember the soundtrack though. Left a good impression.
I think one of the cool uh, little albums I have is uh, these orchestral arrangement of Zelda music. Well, it's not indie, but like, it's great to have that music like that. I collect albums. Uh, I mean, I have a collection. I don't do it in the sense of, like, uh, I expect them to be worth anything. It's just albums that I think are good listening to them from start to finish. Stuff that I personally enjoy, you know, that sort of stuff. I have a pair of uh, good headphones to listen to on the record player, so sometimes I'll just kick back and listen to music. It's something I've done for the longest amount of time in different ways. Just... That's one thing about that format that I guess I appreciate is like it forces you to listen to the album from start to finish. There's none of this like jumping ahead or making a playlist. It's like this is the album. Listen to it in in its intended order and everything. And some of them take that into account. So, yeah, I don't know. Might sound like a very hipster thing, but yeah, I've messed that up. But I enjoy it. I'm so over the ice on the stage, like, it's so annoying. Like, does it really want me to be that precise with this? Why do us stages have to suck? Yeah, I, in general they do. But, I, I mean, this is ROM hack difficulty we're talking about here, right? Like, it's not representative of traditional ice stages by any means. However, they do, in general, have a bottling frustration. It's ice stages and when you, whenever you have any semblance of, like, semi-precise platforming to have to do. Because, you know, the, the slippery aspect of it just... It's not... It's not fun. Which doesn't make sense. Like, is, is ice... I, you know what? This comes from someone that hasn't really experienced ice in, in real life, I guess. But... Is it really that bad? Oh, okay. Again, you're talking to an Australian here, right? We don't get ice. I suppose it is. Because I've had some of the Europeans tell me that slipping on ice is like a rite of passage. That everyone does it, so maybe... Maybe I'm wrong here. <laughs> I bet- I bet there are people that would laugh at me saying that. Like, is ice really that slippery? I am a literal summer child. <laughs> In a country where summer is the thing. Full summer child? Yeah. I, I just can't relate. I can't fathom what that would be like. It's one thing I do want to do one day is experience a real winter. You've never gone under 15 Celsius. Oh, damn, dude. Like, that's... Definitely more than me. I mean, here at least it gets to... Under 10 sometimes. It definitely never go. It rarely goes below zero. I think the coldest ever recorded temperature was like in the 1800s and it was negative <laughs> one. So. We're completely metric in Australia, so it's all uh, centimeters, kilometers, Celsius, kilograms. As it should be. It's pretty much America that's full imperial and then certain other countries. Right, like, 
They're in the minority, whether they realize it or not. so much easier. You don't have to think how one unit converts into another. It's all base 10. <laughs> They're always full of themselves. I mean, yeah, the whole thing is... I remember reading a study that said that most people in the U.S. don't really take holidays outside of the U.S. because they have complete different climates. So if they want snow, they got a state they go to if they want snow. If they want tropical weather, they got states they go to for tropical weather, I guess. And so the world experience is not as great as other places. So awareness of like what other countries have isn't high. So when they encounter something that is different to what they do, they're like, wait, what? What do you mean? You mean everyone doesn't do it the way we do it? I, yeah. Oh no. How does this one resolve? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're still okay. Okay, this is the best I've done so far. Not to jinx it, but... I have a cape at this point, which is huge. I can control my... my jump. Just don't lose it. Checkpoint when, I know, right? Some of these stages are like, pfft, checkpoint? I thought you were a real gamer. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm still alive! Ah, uh, no, but this is where I wanted to cape! Really? <laughs> it's not fair. Oh. oh, I'm genuinely frustrated. <laughs> mm. I can't believe that happened. And yet, I still get some enjoyment out of this. <laughs> ah, dear. I am getting better at it, though. I'm, I'm sure it's only a matter of time now. Okay, we're, we're going the distance on this one. <laughs> Gonna restart, no. No, no, just take the L, take the L. You don't need two capes, you just need one. Because odds are if I lose the first one, I probably won't be able to grab it. Oh god. That was so lucky. I almost slipped back in as it was about to crush me. It's 
It's okay, stay here. We'll, we'll be safe. No. <sighs> what? 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 Oh, come on! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That thing just was like, nope. Nope. What, you thought you thought you were gonna finish the stage? What? Finish the stage? No. Get out of here. Oh man. <sighs> the gruesome task to go all the way back for the feathers, I know, but the flip side is, in the time that it takes me to do that, I mean, how many times am I going to die? I feel like that's more frustrating, and it gives me a bit of time to take a break from it mentally. Good or, good or bad, I guess. I suppose that's why it's not that frustrating as I'm not dying repeatedly, but I just don't see a way of doing this easily without this cape. Like, there's just... It's about pixel perfect sometimes positioning. And with the cape, you just don't have to do that. You just spin to win. If this wasn't an ice stage, I would do it without the cape. Because I can control where I'm positioning. And But it, look at this. Like, I try, to, I try to walk in and then it does that. It's... Oh, no. No, I'm not falling for it again. Expert level dodge. Oh god. Yeah, it doesn't work with the flames, which expected, to be honest. <sighs> Great. Alright, there goes my cape. I don't need it. Like, I do get a mushroom. It's just the cape would almost guarantee it. For this part, it's it really does suck if you don't have it. Because you have to do this insane jump. Okay. Like here. It's such an unfair jump. <laughs> it really is. I just need to survive with the cape again there, and then it should be okay. I just- I wish there was a stage I could go to that didn't take as long to get there. But this is the closest one, to my knowledge, that has a cape in it.
That thing did an awkward jump and I couldn't go through, so I have to wait. So far, so good. Did I... Really get pissed off at this Kaiser. Ah, uh, not to my knowledge. D d I mean, I get frustrated, but I, I don't say I've raged. Like I think there's only been a couple of times on stream where I have genuinely gotten like really upset at a game. <laughs> and one of those times was Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy, and then another time was like Splunky. I think that's it. Ah. Uh, even when I'm frustrated, it's a pretty chill frustration. Like, I, gen I generally laugh. This hack is a mix of stages like this and, uh... Ones that have interesting mechanics that are uh, pretty fun. So that's why I enjoy it. Splunky is a wild ride. Yeah, I played Splunky too. That was my first Splunky game. And it took me s about six months to get to the Cosmic Ocean and finish it. So I did, I did that last year. That was my get good moment last year. All those streams are being published to YouTube. So if you want to watch them. And have some laughs, like, definitely, though. That's that's a fun series that's going to keep uploading every second day for the next four months, so... Well, no, three months now. Three months. Until I eventually do beat the Cosmic Ocean. Odds of survival are pretty low. I just wonder if it's... I don't know. No, you know what? You have to do that jump early, because if you do it too low, then... I'm going to try again like this. I don't know. All of this dude's stages just seem to do this at some point. Where they expect... Wow. Like, they're just claustrophobic experiences. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> 
down. Ah, <laughs> uh, 50 lives. Jeez. make this a bit easier. You gotta appreciate how this level's done. I mean, the... The way that the background is scrolling and all that, it's... Genuinely cool. It's just, <laughs> oh my god, this is suffering. <sighs> the ice fucked me. I couldn't stand still. That should be the name of the stage. The ice fucked me. Oh, man, the music is so good. I suppose it's helping in terms of me not getting tired by this. Tired by the stage. It was just this music. Definitely a good choice. Good music helps not going insane, indeed. I think if you're gonna force the player to do something frustrating and grindy and annoying... Okay, it is, it is do it right away. So let's follow that logic here. This is so- this part is annoying. I'm sorry. Okay, I frame it to victory! No. Alright, I gave it a- I gave it a chance. If I get the cape, then I can stand there and watch it. It's just the problem is I- I can't stand there and watch it because that skeleton is there and then I jump on it and then I- it's like this- Literal slippery. <laughs> uh, I can't express how annoying it is. Like, I, I just can't finish that sentence. Yeah, you don't want to go goblin mode when playing games, believe me. That definitely happened a couple times with Crash Bandicoot. Uh, 
Good, I have both capes. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Okay. Both capes in hand, dude. Both capes in hand. Oh, you dick. I think of the cape. <laughs> Come on! It died! How could it hurt me when it died? Oh my god. Yeah, so you have to go on the way down. Okay. Uh, oh! <laughs> it, it, I can't believe that, like... Mutually assured destruction is never the way that I wanted that to end. Ah, oh dear. That was so close. Sorry, <laughs> accidentally double tapped. No, 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 other way. You can see why I have to have a break between the sessions that I have of this game. I can't do this every day. <laughs> it's just, it's asking a bit much of me.
shit. Okay, but I know how this works. Just duck here because he's going to walk off. There we go. This is going to be different now too. I think. Yeah, it's going to be different. Oh no, I don't know how I'm going to account for this. <laughs> Please don't fuck me over. Okay. What do I think of Chris Pratt voicing Mario? Kind of sounds like Linda from Bob's Burgers, a little. But haven't really heard much of it to make an informed choice on it. I'm more excited about Charlie Day being Luigi, to be honest. I want to hear more of Charlie. Yeah, how's it going, Kira? Okay, I have both capes again. This is progress. You saw a trailer where they used AI to use Charles Martinet voice. Chris Pratt feels wrong. It does, but I guess that's just habit more than anything else, right? Oh god, why? Wow, they really account for everything here. It's gonna be back, isn't it, yet? Yeah. Okay. Kinda... Screwed myself a little here, but... I don't wanna- I don't wanna be too hot. Ah ha 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 ha, no. Come on, come on, come on, go down quicker. No, it's- it's gone. Great. Now I don't get a real chance at this. I'm dead, aren't I? Wow, this... <laughs> Whoever used that AI does the whole movie, you hope they do that. Eh, I mean, I don't know. Give it a chance. That being said, there were rumors that the reason it got delayed was because they did a test screening and it didn't do well. It's a rumor, right? Like, there's no, I guess, real source about it. Just rumblings on the internet. However, based on what they showed, it kind of leads me to believe that it could be true. Because if that movie's co really coming out in... in six months, and that's what they showed, I don't know. You would think at that point it would be less of a, like, hey, this is a movie that's coming out in two years. Because that's what it felt to me. Like a reveal that you do at a, at a game show, right? It, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm I starting to think that what probably happened is they used a little too much Minions humor. Because I got Minions vibes from it, and rightfully so, because of the people that are making it. But it's possible that that didn't gel well with the people that saw it in the test screenings. I don't know. I, I rushed into that, I shouldn't have. You're meant to see... Oh, you're curious to see how Jack Black does as Bowser. I think, yeah. And Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong, which they didn't show at all. I think Jack Black has the right cadence to be able to do a, uh... A Bowser. I mean, if you compare it to when Bowser had a voice in Mario Sunshine... It's not bad. 
I think Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong was definitely a good choice. And I'm hoping just two things from that movie that will entertain me thoroughly is that Luigi is just Charlie Day, basically. And that, um, Toad has- it's just- every single Toad has the same voice. And I'll be happy. I'll, I'll be content with that. Don't have an issue with the casting aside from Mario. Yeah. But I guess that's the thing is it's an uphill battle regardless of who you pick, right? Because, I mean, it's Charles, dude. Like, we're talking about a voice that has, uh... Fuck, it's, like, been in so many games and has been part of so many people's childhoods. It's, it's very hard to think of another voice as Mario, you know? Shit. Janky hitbox, please. the stage so much. <laughs> okay. You generally like Chris Pratt as an actor, but the trailer didn't even feel like he was trying to act for the voice. Yeah, I mean, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. That, to me, didn't feel like a trailer. It didn't really give enough for me to make an informed opinion about how well the voice actors are doing. It doesn't instill me with confidence, but, you know, I think that's just my own, well, who can replace Charles, right? Let me ask you this, if not Chris, who would... Who would voice Mario? In your eyes, who would make a good Mario voice? You know who I would want for Wario? I would want Danny DeVito for Wario. Because he's, he's got the right vibe, you know? And then Steve Buscemi for uh, Waluigi. I think that duo would be amazing. Steve Buscemi's got like the right voice for Waluigi, I think. Sounds weaselly and sinister enough. I kind of had to. Ah, oh, checkpoint! <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Sorry. It's been an hour, holy shit. The stage, dude. Oh my- wait, what do you mean? What the- what- huh? No, this isn't the start, it just looked like the start, I was like... Okay, it's fine, it's fine.
Uh, oh, okay. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Oh man, yeah, well, we'll see how far we can get here. Oh, this is not cool. <laughs> like I said before, the saving grace of the stage is the music. Dun, 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 Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, I can get a cape though. Honestly, at this point, you think even Danny DeVito's voice is better. Huh. But most of the good ones wouldn't be actor actors, but voice actors. Yeah. All right, but I mean, your your ideal cast, like, if you don't know them by name, just I guess Google who they play it, and then you'll be able to find that out. I definitely think Danny DeVito and Steve Buscemi for Wario and Waluigi. That would be perfect. You've been trying to think of someone good just stuck. Yeah, it's not easy, is it? It's not because... It's just because it's the same problem as, like, is that really better than Charles? There are plenty of options and you think Chris Pratt is one of the worst. But that's what I mean, if there's plenty of options, list one. Because that's the problem I'm having, where I'm like, well... I thought, I thought at first, right, like... Chris Pratt, that's a weird choice. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, who would you get? And no one's been able to answer this. They say the same thing. It's like, yeah, Chris, Chris Pratt is one of the worst choices. I'm like, all right, cool. Who? Aside from Charles, who? It's not an easy question to answer, which leads me to believe I don't think the problem is that Chris Pratt is the worst choice. I think the problem is no matter what, no one's going to be better than Charles. Uh oh. What's this for? The Super Mario movie, like Chris Pratt voicing Mario. I was asking like, because multiple people have said this, right? That they think Chris Pratt is a bit of a weird cast. And I thought so too, but then I thought about it and was trying to think who? If not Chris Pratt, who? And I couldn't come up with an answer. Someone suggested Ryan Reynolds to me, which I thought was weird, but it's probably the best answer I've heard so far. But hardly anyone can think of a good alternate to Chris Pratt. Does the voice have to be Italian for Mario? Well, I don't- Chris Pratt's not Italian. Am I wrong? I don't think Chris Pratt is even doing a fake Italian accent either, he's just- It's not his- his own voice, but it's, like, something. You're 100% certain Mark Hamill could do a better job than Chris Pratt. 
probably true. Hang on, I, I couldn't read that because... Focus. Okay, let me read it now. Um, but you can't say for sure. Ryan Reynolds could probably do it, but once again, can't think of him using the best fitting voice. But that's, that's the problem. It's kind of like, you have these talented voice actors that... I get what you're saying, like, in terms of animation, there are... There are talented voice actors that they could have gotten to do Mario, but the thing is, what voice would they do? That's the thing. So you can't really name one. You'd love to see it when it comes out at the movie. Yeah, I'm being cautious about it. Just because of the rumblings I've heard, but, you know. It's not... I'm leaning towards believing them, just based on what I've seen so far. You can't name one because too many options. First one that pops into mind. Don't overthink it. First name. <laughs> Charles Martinet. Oh, damn. Never heard of that actor before. You think they're up for the role? It's quite a challenge. Quite some shoes to fill. <laughs> oh, I, I fucked myself. <laughs> the stage does not end, but definitely the cape is... I, I went pretty far. Let's just go get another cape. Oh, man. I, I want this done. This is- this is going to happen. I'm going to finish this. The fact of the matter is, for the trailer, a random AI copying Charles Martinet sounds better than Pratt. Yeah, but you're basing that off, like, 20 plus years of Charles Martinet playing Mario and being slammed in pop culture. Like, I, I don't feel like that's an objective opinion. It's just one of those things that it's so iconic that it's just really difficult. If it was, you'd be- it, it'd be easy to name an actor and say, if they did this voice, then it would work. By the way, I'm not doubting that it doesn't sound better, right? Like, I'm sure it does, but the foundation of that is off your own <laughs> memories of Mario, right? And Charles Martinet playing this character. It's, even, it's been longer than 20 years, dude. It's been like 30. I guess that's the thing, it's... I don't doubt that it sounds better. But I don't think that's a fault of... Chris Pratt. You know what it's like? It's like the Cowboy Bebop... Netflix adaptation, where no matter what, that was going to flop because it was like... Just doing something that was in such high regard and... The person they chose... To play Spike, like... It just didn't feel right, and because the voice of Spike was just so iconic. Um, anyway, hold on. The channel does allow links, but I probably won't click it. Especially if it's playing sound. But I might look at it afterwards. I try to avoid clicking stuff whilst I'm playing. Oh my god. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Hang on. You really wanted to see Batman with Patterson and brought your girlfriend to the movies, but her ADHD played it up so you couldn't get into the movie. 
you'll bring up for the Mario Brothers movie as it would be more of a fun, goofy movie. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna be Minions style comedy, so there'll be a lot of uh, slapstick stuff in there. You know what, Seth MacFarlane? Uh, yeah, I could see that. S Seth is a super talented voice actor. And you know this because, like, w a very difficult thing to do... Not only does he have a bunch of different voices he can do, but he can sing as those characters, which is... ...insane, right? Like, being able to remain in character and sing songs. Very talented dude. Oh my god. Oh, this- this blows chunks. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just salvaged that. Oh my god. I almost- almost- almost cocked it up. Yes! Oh! oh thank you. Ah, oh, I almost blew it. I think I was like a pixel off- off dying. Oh. Oh, thank fuck. Where does this lead me? Oh, yes! The richest storehouse. What is this? <laughs> uh, the- the vo- <sighs> The shorts where I do the warrior voice, they've been doing pretty well. Pixel perfect on there. Wait, what is that? Roots of Yggdrasil? Okay. Another pixel perfect stage. Shell sticker. IF8. Alright, these are stages I haven't visited. Yeah, I'll definitely watch it afterwards, but I don't doubt it for a sec, but it sounds more natural. What is this song, though? It's kind of nice. How do you get one ups here? Oh. Oh, this is easier. I think. Is it? It might be slower. I can't tell. It might be slower than the other one. No, it's quicker, it's quicker. I just gotta time it right. Alright, so we got a new way to get one up, so that's nice. Like, can't you just make them stand still? There we go. That's how it. I suppose that's the fun, is like, just figuring out the best way to get it. Dude, this baseline. The Super Nintendo got some beats. Wait, is that it? Is that all that's here? I feel like there'd be a secret here. Oh, I can make whatever color Yoshi I want, okay. I guess there's nothing else. It just feels like there should be something here. Let me have a look in here. Hmm, doesn't appear to be anything. Okay, that was my own curiosity. Hey, the nice thing is I- I now have... Well, I guess this is off on its own, so it doesn't really help, but...
gourmet hindrance. What is this stage? If it's too much of a pain in the ass, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Kirby music. For real SNES controller users, this level pressing L and R will also drop the reserved item like the select button. I don't get it. What's this stage? Oh, like that? Okay, but that's all well and good. Why? Why would I be interested in that? I love this music, by the way. Why are we making Yoshis? What is- what is the point of this stage? Uh-oh. I may have done something horribly stupid. Uh, cool, so there's no way... <laughs> yeah, I've messed this up. Oops. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, hold on. I think I got it. Wow, that's, uh, quite, quite the thing. It's okay, I got it. There's a timer?! Wait. Oh god. Oh god. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm dead. This stage is kind of fun. Alright, it doesn't seem like a pain in the ass. It's... It's something that's a weird gimmick, but genuinely fun, I guess. Oh! I think I, I think I get what's happening. I think I get what's happening. It's a race. It's a race. I think I get what's happening. I just realized this might be a race. I have to beat this thing. If that's the case, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain this is what's happening. Which might honestly explain it. Like, I think this is culmin gonna culminate in me having to... Yeah, 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 it's a, it's a race. It's 100% a race. I gotta save that thing. I would imagine I'm gonna need the cape at the end. Oh, that's why they made the R trigger. Okay, I see. Yo, you greedy little... Okay. From one bit of suffering to another. Oh, I see the arrow in my ways. Okay. No. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think, like, how is this stage hard? It's actually pretty calm, but now I get why it's hard. Oh, 
Oh, this is bullshit. This part, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get. Wow. Okay, I see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Damn it. This is genuinely enjoyable. Oh, I may have ruined this already. Yeah, too slow. It's not easy! It is- it is midnight, so <laughs> I might have to split this up. I don't know why I started I was just curious as to what was next, because I didn't remember. No! Oh, you little greedy pig! No! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, you have to be fluid with this. Like, not waste a second. No! Oh, that's not fair. No, that's not fair! <laughs> I was ahead! I was so far ahead! Alright. The music is perfect, it's comedy music. Oh, I fucked up! No. Damn it. <laughs> These maps are 14 out of 10 on the annoying scale. I don't mind this one compared to the previous one. At least this one's a race and it's it's fun from a platform platforming perspective. You know what it's like is, uh, Battletoads has a, has a stage called... What was it called? It was like Rodent Panic or something, but... You had to race this ra No, it was Rat Race. It was Rat Race. You have to race this rat to the bottom of the stage, and if you don't get there before he does, the you explode, basically. He sets off a bomb. It reminds me of that, except in here you gotta try and keep him alive. So I don't I don't mind this stage. Hey, it beats ice, right? Oh, got it. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's the ticket. I didn't grab the fight! Oh my god, that was going so well. Ugh. How did I fail it? Listen. Palms are a little, little sweaty from the previous stage. Finger slip, didn't hold up. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on his sweat already, Mom. Spaghetti. He's nervous. Fuck. 
I mean, well, I did it. I did it for the content quite clearly. This is this is why it's like the viewing experience here. You'll see me something do and some. I can't even finish the sentence. You'll see me do something impressive. And then you will just clench the moment I fuck up the most simple thing. Now you're emotionally invested. Because you're somewhat angry. <laughs> this is why this stage is great, though. Okay, here we go. It's also getting a little warm in this room. I might open the door even though it's a, it will echo a bit. Give me a sec. Sorry if it sounds a bit different, but, um... Yeah, this is going to be a problem in summer. I can't keep this door closed. It, it feels like I've turned on the air conditioning, but it's not. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, that, it feels like I have a breeze in here all of a sudden. I panicked. I couldn't believe I got it. I thought I'd messed it up and then that that was on the back foot. <sighs> you know what sucks is like the transformation animation. It's distracting sometimes because I lose I lose my footing. Like that, and uh, when you pick up a power up, that it pauses the game. There's so many times where I've just died because of that. It's... I get why they do it, but sometimes I wish it didn't happen and would just opt for like an iframe transformation instead. I don't know. That's the one thing I've never really agreed with when it comes to Mario games. Nah, it's over. Oh my god, what was that? Like, I, I've zoomed past it. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god, the double- I jumped and it grabbed it again. <laughs> so angry. I was trying to get a higher jump and then just grab the vine again. Ugh. 
Okay, speaking of genuine frustration, that was definitely a genuine frustration. I was angry at myself there for a minute. Because I'm better than that. No! Oh! I'm getting up to that point more consistently, though, which is good. Yeah, that, that messed me up. Wow. And that's over. <laughs> I love how I said I only won a few attempts at it, but the stage is, is pretty fun. Fucking hell. Nah, too slow. Alright, uh, what's coming up? Let me just see. Okay, and then- Oh, that's it! Oh, that's it! Oh, th I'm not too far away from the end, okay. I got this. That's encouraging. I mean, there's probably a second half of the stage, who am I kidding myself, but... Really? <laughs> okay. Why is he <laughs> He wasn't doing that before, why is he doing this all of a sudden? <laughs> what is going on? Like, why is he jumping? He wasn't jumping before. <laughs> I think I got it. I have to nail him with the fire flower. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> No, oh, too early. I should have waited. I had a good lead. I, I rushed it. 
I didn't make sure the firefly was acquired. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. I can do better. Going to crap. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't even press it. Okay, focus. Dude. I really don't like that jump. You have to really line it up for it to work. Not distracting in the slightest. You, oh, you dick. Why do you jump? <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why he jumps. Um, I know there's a reason why he jumps, but he just. Ugh. It's like this wild card scenario I have to account for. I may have messed this up. We'll see. Nah. <sighs> I didn't feel good about that one either, so... Start again. All right. Here we go. Oh. That was bad. <laughs> Start again. What? It doesn't work. <laughs> I was so close. All right, go. <sighs> 
this this thing is such an ass. <laughs> it doesn't. I can't tell when it's gonna do it. so well. Nah. Start again. I got tilted. <laughs> Laser focus and then I mess it up. Ugh. This is just <laughs> so frustrating. There's a 50-50 chance that that thing hits me when I jump. Oh, that didn't even get it. What happened there? What happened there? Oh, this is comedy at its finest. <sighs> Dude. Oh no, that threw me off a little. We'll see, maybe this is salvageable. Yep, salvaged. What now? Holy shit, what now? <laughs> I was kind of afraid. Okay, checkpoint. What now? Ugh. Now Yoshi feels so hungry due to your hindrance. He will swallow things as fast as he can. Oh no. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Ooh. This is different. It's a flying course. Wait, so how am I supposed to do this? Just spit it out? Okay, okay. Ooh, this is, this is interesting. Oh, okay. Huh? 
Wow, okay. Interesting stage. Oh god. <laughs> Why am I doing this right now? Like, I, I, my reflexes are, are kind of gone after that first part. Wow. Okay. Can't. Yeah. Wow. It's gonna be difficult. Joshy, please don't don't mess with my heart. <sighs> wow, I think I have to do like a, the tiniest of jumps at the end. No, it doesn't work. I'll have five more goes and I think I'm going to leave it. I think uh, my reflexes are just, are just gone <laughs> right now. I don't want to hit my head against this brick wall all night. As fun as this is, I'm genuinely enjoying the stage. This is great. It's just not, not in the right mentality <laughs> to do it right now. I got through the first part, honestly. Uh, what did I- oh no, what have I done? Okay, I, I messed up. That's what I did. I didn't consider the possibility. No, Joshy! Okay, cool, so what do there? I'm just glad it gives you like a safety net here. Oh, great. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do there? I think I get it, actually. Wait, what? That was quick. I think I'm supposed to jump off him. So then he doesn't... Oops. He doesn't run away and I land, more or less. I think. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm just missing the shots. It's, it's not good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. Oh. I don't think any of these stages have dragon coins, so 
I suppose that's the nice thing. I'm dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's that. It's 100% that. I just need to fly higher. Messed it up. Messed it up. 100% messed it up. <sighs> it's really finicky. Alright. I think this will be the final attempt. One more. I just want to throw. I just want to do the throw one more time. I don't know why I didn't trust. Wait, what? Where's the turtle? Where's the Cooper? <laughs> That's not fair. What do you mean? I definitely didn't grab it, like, oh, 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 ah! Cool, so that, that can happen, that's... It's another complexity to this. Ah. Uh, why am I still doing this? 35, 100%, 35, that's it. Nearly. I just need to get that quicker, but that's, I think, the gist of it. Really? No, that doesn't count. This, this is 100% the last one provided I can get past that point. Okay, the tongue didn't latch. That's cool. Okay, got it. Alright, now what? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit myself against that brick wall. I'm gonna go save. Um, I can save here now, which is nice. All oh, right, the music's different here. Okay, and thus wraps up another week of Janked Up Mario Party. This was fun. The ice stage. Oh, man. <laughs> but I guess my reward was that uh, athletic part of that first stage. I'm sure the other part will be fun, too. It's just... I'm a bit tired, so I'm going to leave it at that, and we'll continue it next time. So, hope you enjoyed.